Hey guys, so got the hydraulic brakes done on it. Uh, so my, I have a new set of hydraulic brakes that'll be here Wednesday, but after I got to digging in my pile, I uh, ended up having like three of them uh, that had various problems with them. I ended up just rebuilding one of my old ones um, with all the parts that I had from the three and it works just great. Uh, that up there was a, a fairly, it was a fairly new uh, lever and uh, kit. So, and then the bottom was a brand new one. And then the hose, uh, the one that I bought here and had, I'd had it on the shelf and everything. After looking at it, um, the reason that it wasn't doing anything is because it actually had a small pinhole because I actually took everything apart, filled the hose up and this one, it had a pinhole in it, so um, yeah, that's kind of why it wasn't working. So, but I ended up getting auto fixed. I got some zip strips and stuff done. <sighs> These are nine and a half uh, BMX bars. They're nine and a half inch BMX bars. They're made in Taiwan and they're called base lines. Um, Really nice. Uh, they're roughly two, about two inches taller than the factory bars. Really handle well. Uh, I've got a buddy of mine that's got it on a Motovox frame, the same uh, handlebars. And I mean, I really like the welds on them. So, uh, front suspension will be coming next. I just kind of was throwing it together. I'm just piecing the bike together as it comes together. I took it for a ride, you know, ripped it around and really runs out good. Everything's going well on it. Uh, that other Predator engine, I've just, I was working on it. Um, put a new plug in it, put a new carburetor on it, uh, and got it to run and everything. And then I uh, was going to install it, and then I figured I'd go ahead and start it up and let it run because the I got the fuel tank cleaned out, but I was going to let it kind of run a little bit and see if it did end up hurting to plug it up the carb, and I'd put a fuel filter inlet on it, and I went to jerk on it and broke the cord out of it, but I've got another pull cord. I've just got tired of messing with it, and these parts came in, so I started putting it together. So, But... So where I'm at, uh, front brake kit will be one of the main things, and then I'm gonna add that matching tire to the new rim, so. But it'll be a little bit before it comes in. Um, I've also, I bought one of the Coleman seat pads uh, for dirt bikes, and uh, I seen one other guy have one on his, um, I think it's called a Coleman Mad Dog or something like that. It, uh, has gel in it and uh, it's got a little bit of grip for it for your dirt bike but we're gonna get that put on and you know just as parts come in i'll uh keep adding to it so but so far this is kind of where it's at right now and you know for a clutch bike it it rips uh i'm getting 45 mile an hour out of it with a stock literally a bone stock predator in the zip tie trick so uh, I will be adding, you know, I'm going to add a different motor later on down the road, but as it is right now, I just, it's reliable, it runs, that's where I'm at, so, but, all right, guys, we'll holler at y'all later, have a good one.